घोड़ा घोड़ा बहुत गोई टू वेल घोड़ा जो रनिंग लग गया ताज़ा थी सो आई मीन सो ही वेंट नॉट इन शेयर सो आई गोट द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू कम इन स्पेशल रजिस्ट्रेशन एंड आई रेकमेंडेड अ गाय कॉल क्लाइव लॉयड यू हर क्लाइव लॉयड ओह यस ओह यस एंड क्लाइव लॉयड वाज माय रूममेट फॉर द नेक्स्ट टेन इयर्स एंड द ओनली मैन to give me an inferiority complex <laughs> and we wonder why especially when he came out of the showers <laughs> i mean so well well and now I mean, the guy the guy wasn't human believe me i felt like i was in victoria gardens i used to come out of the showers cover the bloody thing up <laughs> Freddy Krueger, you heard of Freddy Krueger? He came in our room one day, you know, and I was just opened the door and saw Clive in the nuddy. He said, "Hook me," he said. If he had eyes, he'd attack a rat. He said. What you walk on, Martha? But I mean, uh, one flick of the tongue, <coughs> drunk. But ten years it turned to a really, really uh, blossom friendship. I mean, you. Of really... course, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. We still keep in touch. We are both sort of, pardon me, saying, we're both legends of Lancashire. Lancashire initially had five all-time Lancashire players as legends. We are both lifetime vice presidents, and uh, yeah. we're on. and uh, to have a stand named after you and a suite wow. at, at the Hilton Hotel. I was so my wife and I stayed there for the first night inaugural. And um, it's a four o'clock in a suite, which is right. Our Lancashire Cricket Club is about 100 yards from Manchester United, so Old Trafford and Old Trafford are, are together. So you know, it's a it's, it's always full that place. I don't think there's any room for me anytime. But it's a great honour, Mr. and me. And I always said, I said in the Life Achievement Award, that whatever awards you get abroad are great. But to get something in your own country, by your by your own people, and I was really touched. I got a standing ovation from the whole present Indian cricket team. You know, Rohit Sharma was the first to stand up. You know, and for them to give a standing ovation, they they didn't need to. So it was truly deserved. Was their, truly their, deserved. their bank balances are like way beyond. We used to get 50 rupees a day. Oh my gosh. Like oh. test cricket, 250 rupees for a five-day test match. Myself and Suran Gavaskar were batting against New Zealand side, winning the match. In four days, we had to get about 15, 20 runs, and there was half an hour left. So I don't see we could have won the game that evening. But all sorts of messages were coming from the dressing room. Today game match is over. Tomorrow, the price of 50 rupees will go up. So we both started blocking. One or two runs left the next day. What a cheer went up! Not for our innings, <laughs> prolong the game to the to the next day. You know, fifty rupees a bloody day. Today you give a tip of hundred rupees and they'll they look at you. You know what's wrong? But the, you know, look at the contract at Chepok at, at Madras. You know, he just kept on saying, "Hats off, really. I've not seen an innings like that before." You know, he kept on saying that. The forty-six balls, hundred. Yeah, forty-seven. Actually, I was I was forty-six. I was ninety-four. No, no, sorry, it was forty-six. Yes, forty-six. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was ninety-four before lunch, and the lips are this. I was my non-striker. I was ninety-two with two overs to go. You know, I hooked Wes Hall, and Rohan Kanai, a deep square leg dives, and stops a full length. You know, drive the ball ricochet from his hand. Easy to. But all I heard from Dilip was "nako nako nako," <laughs> and he blocked the five balls. I'm not blaming him. He was a great cricketer, Dilip. Last over, extra cover drive. Clive Lloyd or what? He will dive full length, and the ball again ricocheted. It. You could easily got two, but what did I get from Dilip? "Nako nako nako." <laughs> so anyway, I was 94. And I was I was very happy that I was not out. So everyone, I only don't bad men or something. I said, I don't deserve to be in that. That bracket. So first ball after lunch, they had a spinner by the name of Lance Gibbs. Oh my God! Yes. You're fast. Anyway, you, the first ball of his went straight 
out of the stadium. I think the ball is still traveling. <laughs> they never found it and got my hundred. So those outside the stadium. So anyway, when I, when I came in the dressing room on the floor, and Tiger kept on saying, absolutely, you know, I raised my hat off something. Oxford, Missy Gaga. And he said, I don't have a hat. Take the hat. I don't have a hat, but I'm going to give you my cap. And he gave me his cap, which I've got till this day. Oh, I'm treasured it. Yeah. If anyone gives me a good offer, I do. <laughs> but um, actually, he was going to give me his jacket also. <laughs> After the oval test, 71. Are you going to ask me about that? Yes, please. I would love to hear about the 71 where you brought us victory on foreign soil. No, 71 was the year we beat England in England. People think that um, 1983 was the renaissance of Indian cricket. But I wouldn't totally agree there because we won, we beat England in, in England, Australia in Australia, West Indies in the West Indies, all in the 70s, you know. And um, how can they say that cricket of 83 did a great job with Dilipus? part of the team and Kapil and all that and Bowman did the commentating. Bowman came and stayed at my house. He even grew my bloody sideburns. You know? And you did a fantastic job in that Bowman because wow, the man you are, man, yeah. man of many talents. Honestly, you should, you should be bigger than Amitabh Bachchan, I think. But I've heard is in Dubai, what did you invite me for? What were you doing there Bowman? Life well. Absolutely fascinating to hear. If you ever get a chance, listen to Bowman. I was all the years. I came there with my daughter, Scarlett, who works in Dubai. And you were absolutely brilliant. And everyone, the whole auditorium, enjoyed it so much. You know, so I mean, it was really worth. And what you did in the 83 commentary, you know, when I tell people that it was Bowman who played my part, really, as, you know, as, as a commentator. And you did a great job there. Thank you. My God, this is so beautiful how you are. So not not only, I'm, I'm going off the bloody. No, it doesn't matter, sir. You know, it's it's your evening. Wherever you go, we are loving this journey with you, yeah, yeah. honestly. And uh, to tell you honestly, we're at Della. Such a grand affair. Jimmy, thank you very much, Selim. Thanks for making it interesting, you know. And um, I'm sorry for the foul language I use. <laughs> but being a Parsi, you're halfway there. <laughs> so. What is your definition of a Parsi? A Parsi is, uh, I think Parsi has many definitions. We wear many caps. You know, we are eccentrics in a way. We're fun-loving people. Fun no doubt. You know, I like to think, to have a, I'm 86, I'll be, you know. And to have a sense of humor, that's what keeps you young. You know, look at Bowman. He's always smiling, you know. <laughs> Dilip is half a Parsi. <laughs> You have to say something in Marathi. He's been your friend for so long. You want to say something? Come here. Come here. Dilip, come here. Give Dilip Rang Sakar a big hand here. He is my absolute buddy. Actually, I want to ask you one question. I'm sure you'll answer that question. Um, on his first row of West Indies in 1962, uh, I think he had the lips on this side and he went out to bat um, against Barbados. You know, and Charlie Griffith uh, uh, had heard Nuri contracting before that. So they were youngsters and they were asked to open the innings. So <laughs> what, you know, and Charlie Griffith, I think, was on this long run up. Not that story. And he and Dilip Sandhya, <laughs> they were going out to bat. You know, and the conversation in Marathi. Please, go ahead, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's hear that conversation. I can't possibly say that. Nandini killed me. It will be edited. It will be edited, sir. Please go for it. Sit down, sir. Sit down. Okay, I, sit down. I, ask, I ask, sir, will request them to not, not go to press. About. I said, both going to open the innings. They left the run number one. They said, no, no, two gear, two gear. It was all in the boundary line to run up Charlie Griffin. And there were no helmets those days. We had a pink plastic box. You know. yeah. Can you imagine? And rubber pimple, bloody gloves. And they're bowling well over 100 miles per hour. And they made it very clear that their intention is not to get you out. Their intention is to kill you first. But I'll be in the meanwhile. 
But that, that, that was no, the motto. No, no, they meant it. They used to say, would like to see blood. I mean. Yeah, they said it very clearly. And Charlie Griffith was a chucker. When you chuck over 100 miles per hour, the ball skids at you. You know, Wes Hall was a great bowler, one of the greatest bowlers that I have. Yeah. So, I mean, there was a bit of fear. Your captain died in hospital and all that, you know. <laughs> so, I, first ball I hooked a bouncer, and of course, he's turned to bat. And suddenly, he's tapping the pitch and all that. He lifts up my maruaya to you. Tapping the pitch and all that for about five minutes. They are wondering why, you know, end of the run up. I said, Tigana. This was natural, I mean, as he was losing his words, <laughs> he was losing behind as well. I told, I think Frank Warren, I said, he's forgotten to wear his box, can he go in? Oh, you'll need more than a box to face Gregory. The lip hang up, I'm not going to talk again. The pants were white when he first came out. <laughs> Please, I would request the press not to. Yeah. I you know, just it. Not to do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. On that high note, I would like to call Jimmy on stage to do the honors of, uh, you know, honoring all the people who are here and the guests. So, Jimmy, please. What an evening. Thank you for making This evening has actually turned really out to be an absolute celebration full of laughter. Very, very, he said that a little birdie told us that Farah sir is very soon celebrating his birthday. So, our founder Jimmy Mistry and the entire team of DLC has planned a very special traditional Farsi celebration along with a beautiful birthday cake. I would want to invite some of the guests on the dais uh, so that they partner with our founder Jimmy Mistry in celebrating Farah sir's birthday. Can we have versatile actor Bhaman Nirani sir on stage, please? Can we have Dilip Bengsarkar sir on stage please? Can we have Ayaz Mehman sir on stage please? Can we have Dr. Rusi Sunawala sir on stage please? Can we have Sanjeev Kapoor sir on stage please? The king of real estate. May I describe you that way? Dr. Kiki Turel, can we have you on stage, please? Yeah, okay. Dr. Manu Kumar hey, Shavastha sir, can hey, we have you on stage please? Pushpinda Punya sir, can we have you on the dais please? Thank you for joining us in this beautiful celebration. Anu Malik sir, can we have you on stage please? Vishal. And we have our director of Dela Group, Pearl Sangha here. 
She's arranged a beautiful cake for Farooq engineer sir. A big round of applause. And now we have the traditional Parsi celebration, the Sangan. Can you get some girls on the seaside? Excuse me, I'm going to go down. Vishal. Vishal. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down. My problem, my problem. Can you get some girls? बोलो बोलो तो ये कौन सा माल कैमरा खाली कर देंगे तो उन दावे लेते हैं। I've got a lovely story about this that I will tell you later. Please remind me. ये भैया ऊपर आए लाया था। इसको बोलो ना यार बढ़िया। विशाल ये ये सीमंत दला बोल रहा है उसे फोटो ये मोबाइल कैमरा दोनों दाव लेते बोल रहे हैं अमेंचा वैरतक्षिण चा उपगतातें यजमेदे मनिंतिंचा उपगतातें यजमेदे अशेम वभू वैष्णवस्ति पुष्टास्ति पुष्टामाय यत्तशाय वगिष्टाय अशेम वर्दिस आज तुझे क्या आस्क यू क्वेश्चन केबी पीसा डस दिस मीन डस दिस मीन कॉल्ड बाय सिंस द वॉश टाइम Della, come on. Sinha, Shilpi, please come up on stage. Della, please come. I hope I'm not as many people as I can accommodate. Della should be the first person here. Della, now. We're going to have a beautiful group picture now. I would request my friend Poman to say a few words. Poman, please come. You will be standing for 24 25 minutes, okay? So, <laughs> so Farooq, Farooq engineer first came to St. Mary's School as a speaker and signed on a bat, and I would be staring at that bat in the cupboard for years and years and years. 
and never would I believe that someday I would get to meet him. I finally got to meet him about 20 years ago at Dadapasi Colony in Navarro celebrations. And they say, never meet your heroes. And, and they are right. Because he was sitting and talking to my wife with such passion. I said, Farah, stop it, man. Right? And then many years later, I think it was the, the last World Cup, one previous to this one, and we were out for a holiday in London, and uh, I was sitting, I was sitting at 51 Bucking Gate, the Taj, and we were getting into the car, and the manager of the hotel, the Taj, comes and says, Farooq Engineer wants to see you. I said, oh God. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, so I went and I met him, and he said, Kajaj! I said, to the airport. Why? I said, because we finished our holiday and my entire family is sitting in the car. We've loaded the bags and we're good to go. So he grabbed my hand and said, Nay, Raja. Said, let them go. Once you buy the act, and I'm back, Raja. I said, yeah, we are leaving. He said, no, no, stay back. In four, of, four days or five days from now is the India-Pakistan match at Old Trafford. So you should come and see that match. So I said, Farooq, thanks a lot. And bang, 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 and I was honking away. I went and sat in the car and I told them what happened. And Zinobe said, you know, honestly, you should have stayed back. But now, we were on our way to the airport and she told me, come back, you got a couple of assignments, and then fly back again. You've been speaking about Farooq Engineer all your life. He has been your boyhood hero. Ask any kid 